Hello guys, it's me Simu Orahara and in this video I will show you all the new Bankai that appeared in the final arc but in a different way than usual. We will not start from the weakest to the strongest or the strongest to the weakest but I will review this Bankai in a chronological way so that by this way it will show you when these new Bankai appeared and in what context they appeared. So guys, in the interviews that came before the beginning of the final arc Kubo had confirmed that Kyuraku would release the Bankai and also the Bankai of Renji has changed. Other than that, the door was open to all the assumptions about who the captains or Shinigami who might see their Bankai and at what stage this might happen. And I think many of us have been putting forward several theories about who will see their Bankai first, such as Kyuraku, Okitaki, or Ishin. However, Kubo started the final arc with an expected Bankai. The final arc started in chapter 418, during which events began to focus in several places. Alarms sounded at the center of the 12th Division Technical Institute, and mysterious Arankara comes to Ichigo, as a suspicious incident takes place in the Soul Society with sudden disappearance of souls, as well as a group of people who came to the Soul Taicho Yamamoto and they identified themselves as Van der Reich and declared war on the Soul Society. Immediately after that, they killed Sasakibi, who told Yamamoto that they could seal the Bankai or so he thought. The important thing is that the death of Sasakibi and the disappearance of Horos confirmed that the enemy is the Quincy and that the war could happen at any moment. And in chapter 494, the Quincy's invaded the Serichi, with that invasion a shocking throat pop up in the surface of the fights. The Quincy's cannot just seal the Bankai, but they can stall it. More than that, they can use it, which made all the rest of the Shinigami who didn't use their Bankai yet not able to risk to lose their secret weapons. And here will be the first surprise from Kubo. In chapter 404, the Shiranaija at Riskol will use the Bankai of Sasakibi, one of the oldest Bankai in Bleach, a Bankai that is more than 2000 years old. And this was a surprising event because it was also accompanied by the presentation of the first flashback for old Yamamoto and the secret of the second scar that was caused by Sasakibi's Bankai. And then, in two chapters, the big surprise will happen. In chapter 506, Yamamoto will release his Bankai Zanka no Tachi. No one expected that at all. We used to think that Kobo may let some other Shinigami release their Bankai, but being Yamamoto the first one, that was shocking. Zanka no Tachi is a legendary Bankai, by all accounts, with its four sides, which showed that Aizen and Yuhaba did not avoid Ryujin Jaka out of nowhere. And the surprises are not over yet. After the end of the battle of Yuhaba and Yamamoto and Ichigo's ascending to the Royal Palace, Kyuraku was appointed as a new Sotaichu, and the most important decision he made was to train Zaraki with the first Kimpachi. And this was one of the biggest surprises prizes of the final arc that Yachiro Onohana was the first Kinpachi and in the midst of their fight Onohana released her Bankai for the first time in the story. Unfortunately we don't know yet the true nature of her Bankai and how it works but I'm sure that this Bankai will be explained in more details in the anime and Onohana's Bankai was released in chapter 526 and by that it can be said that the first invasion in which Kobo revealed three new Bankai Sakibi's Bankai, Yamamoto's Bankai and Onohana's Bankai. After chapter 546 Kobo will take a long hiatus for two months and then he will return to complete the events of the final arc that began with the second invasion of the Quincy but this time the events took place inside the hidden kingdom of the Quincy. The battles have begun and the problem of the Bankai is still on the table. So the Shinigami have started to rely on other methods of fighting, whether by relying on Shinko such as Soifon or developing Shikai such as Toshiro. But when Orohara Kiski found the solution to this problem, some characters started to use the Bankai again. In chapter 556, 
Komomo Asajin will release his Bankai Kokujo Tengen Mu in a new style. After taking the secret of the human transformation technique, this gave Komomo the power of temporary immortality. And after 8 chapters, Rose will release his Bankai for the first time. Rose launched the Bankai against the Chiranaita Masculine, and Masculine who had previously defeated both Hisagi and Yumichika and as well Captain Kinsey. Then Rose came and released the Bankai in attempt to defeat him. And Rose's Bankai has an amazing ability and was about to defeat Masculine. But as always, like his friend Hiraku, Rose made Masculine to know the weak point of his Bankai by saying that the Bankai can harm the opponent by the melodies the Bankai performs. So all Masculine had to do is destroying his eardrums and thus the Bankai's ability stopped working. And after defeating Rose and Kinsey, Renji came from the Royal Palace well trained and with a new Bankai. Because the old Bankai of Renji was with half the name and his Zanpakuto didn't give him the full name of the Bankai. But when Renji went to Ichibi who named all the names of the Zanpakuto, he told him the full name of his Bankai. And so when Renji called the Bankai by his full name which is Suhu, the Bankai became like this. And this Bankai was so strong that it made masculine to ashes. Abara Renji didn't come alone from the Royal Palace but with Rukia and this one will fight Esnot and in the midst of their fight Rukia will release her Bankai for the first time in chapter 569. And Rukia's Bankai was so devastated that with one hit Esnot's body turned into a heap of ice and as you can see at the beginning of the second invasion and in the course of 13 chapters Kobo has made four characters release their Bankai. Whether it is a new version of the old Bankai, like the Bankai of Sajin Komamura or Renji, or new ones like Rose's Bankai and Rokia's Bankai. And after that, Kobo will enter into multiple events, such as uh, the fight of Zaraki against Girimi and the release of the Shikai for the first time, Nuzarashi, as well as the coming of Ichigo from the Royal Palace and his fight against the Quincy Girls. Then Mayuri's fight against Giselle and the zombie Toshiro and New Habak's ascending to the Royal Palace will move the story to new confrontations, most of which will be within the Royal Palace. In the beginning, it was the most prominent fight between New Habak and Ichibi, and it was an epic fight in every sense of the word. There, the leader of the Shinigami showed his legendary Shikai Ichimonji, whose ability lies in removing the names of the things with ink while his Bankai was released in chapter 609 and its ability lies in giving a new name to something that has been removed by Ichimonji. After defeating Ichibi at the hands of Yuhabach, Kubo will focus on events far from the battles that can give us a new Bankai. Yuhabach will bring down the Soul King which will make Okita Kele the Mimihagi get out of his body to save the worlds from destruction. Meanwhile, Kyuaku will go to the Muken to release Aizen Sosuke in order to help them against Yuhabach while Ichigo will take a short fight with Yuhabach. Then the captains will go to the Royal Palace to fight the elite guards. There will be the first long battles, Mayuri's fight against Bernida, a battle in which Mayuri used several new methods of fighting, including a new Bankai in chapter 639. Mayuri will release the Bankai that is able to copy the abilities that Mayuri provided during the battle. And then after the end of the battle of Mayuri, Kyoraku will fight the leader of the elite guard, Lily Baro. Kyoraku at first fought with Shikai and used two new games before using the Bankai in chapter 547 for the first time in the story. His Bankai is characterized by a wide range both friends and enemies can feel the extent of its darkness and most importantly it consists of four chapters. Each chapter is characterized by a deadly ability. And after the end of the battle of Kyoraku and Lilibaro, the manga will go to its last events in which Kobo will speed up the events even more so that after the fight of Yurichi in Asuki Naklovar 
Orohara will release the Bankai in chapter 664. In one chapter, Kiski released the Bankai and defeated Asuka Naklovar with the help of Grimijo. The speed of the events did not give us a comprehensive view of Orohara's Bankai. What we know is that the Bankai is able to restrict anything it touches and it enhances or house physical strength. And another aspect of the story, there was a group fight against the miracle Gerard. They all tried various ways to defeat him. Zarak used Chikai no Zarashi, but to no avail, which forced little Yachiro, who considers herself to be the Bankai of Zaraki, to make him release the Bankai and appear like this. And this happened in chapter 669. And Kobo has recently confirmed that Yachiro is Zaraki's Bankai and is a part of Nozarashi's Sampak. Then in the next chapter, Toshiro will use his Bankai in the full form. The full Bankai is used by Toshiro when he is in a bigger form, which gives him several qualitative characteristics, whether by freezing anything he touches only with his hands, or freezing all the elements of nature, or also disabling even the opponent's ability as he did with Girard's sword. Of course, all these attacks failed against Girard. And finally, after that, the man Manga will enter the final battle, Yuryu vs Hajvald and Ichigo against Yuhaba. Ichigo in this fight started by fighting using his normal state of his true Shikai, then he used the Horn of Salvation uh, by awakening White, and finally in chapter 678, which is 8 chapters before the end of the manga, Ichigo released the Bankai. Unfortunately, as you know, the Bankai was broken immediately after its release by Yuwabach. So we couldn't figure out what the real Bankai was and what new abilities Ichigo could get. And by the end of the battle, the manga had officially announced its end. And thus the manga ended with 14 new Bankai that was revealed in the final arc. I hope in the anime, Kobo could uh, involve more Bankai that we didn't see, like the Bankai of Ishin, or maybe the Bankai of Hisage in Hiraku that were shown in the novels. And who knows, we can see other Bankai of new uh, vice captains in the upcoming chapters of Hell Arc. So guys, tell me your opinion about the new Bankais, and see you guys in my next video.